Hi there, I'm Michael Bovey with Consumer Recovery Network. Thanks for tuning in to Debt Bites, my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to do another myth-busting installation, and it has to do with whether you can call a debt collector and re-age the statute of limitations for them to sue you. Now, this is a common myth, and so it's, it's busted, but only partially. So let me explain. When you call a debt collector, let's say you've fallen behind on your debt for maybe a few months, maybe a few years. You are engaging in a conversation with them over the phone to try to come to some type of resolution. A lot of the times I'm encouraging people, anybody that's fallen late on their debt more than 90 days, especially if it's you know more than six months and the account like a credit card is charged off, you're not really getting any extra bonus from paying in full. So you might wanna try and settle for as little as you can to get the impact positive to your credit and you know move forward with other financial goals. But at some point, there's a limit to wanting to pay that back because it's gonna just age off your credit report or the motivator for the fact that they can sue you is no longer real. Like in California, it's a four year statute of limitations. A lot of states are four years. Some are only three. That's the smallest portion or amount of time. And some are six. And so if you are past the three year statute of limitations in say South Carolina, and it's been three years and three months, and you call them to try to negotiate a settlement, the concern that people have is like, never call a debt collector, only write to them because you're gonna re-age the statute of limitations. No, actually, you're more likely to re-age the statute of limitations based on different state laws by writing to them. The same thing that people are online talking about, never talk to them, just send an offer in the mail. That's what re-ages the statute of limitations. And so it's, it's myth busted, but partially. So in that it's state specific and the state rules are gonna give guidance on whether or not you can re-age that. For example, one state just recently, I'm recording this video in 2022, and New York State came out with a law change to their debt collection rules. Up until this year, 2022, they had six years to sue you in the state of New York. They halved it, awesome, right? Down to three years. But they also wrote into the law that you making a payment, I mean, if there's anything that's gonna re-age the statute of limitations across most states, it's gonna be you voluntarily sending them money. That resets the statute of limitations to sue you. But here in New York, it's the only state that I know of where even paying them isn't going to re-age that statute of limitations. And then you've got these you know, states where, okay, verbal acknowledgement of a debt re-ages the statute of limitations in a couple of states that I don't even see them actually you know, use to their advantage. I think there's like three states like that. And there's a handful of states where a written, uh, some, some kind of offer to pay that you send trying to negotiate through the mail and that's what's more problematic than the phone calls. And in other states, you know, you just don't see that re-aging from any kind of dialogue. But my friend, uh, one of my coworkers today, and uh, somebody I've worked with for many, many years, he's a former debt collector. He probably has one of the best resources on the internet. Link is on the page here and down in the description of this video that goes through each state, every single state, all 50 states, as to, and he provides a chart, hey, can you verbally uh, reset the statute of limitations with a verbal acknowledgement of a debt? Does it take a written acknowledgement? And he links out to each state law, and there's a couple of states where he's like, you know what, it's enough of a gray area for your state, go ahead and contact an experienced consumer law attorney practicing in your state and ask them that very same question. So it's, it's, uh, it's an important topic. It kind of, it, it, it does fit into that myth-busting category because much of what I see people bringing up to me is like, well, I read it here, here, and here, these things, these places where it says you can re-age it just by talking to them. And that's, except, that's very much the exception, not the norm. If you have questions about this topic, post them in the comments below. I'll see you on the next video.